There we go. Good morning. Welcome to the vlog. You gonna say welcome to the vlog? <laughs> Is Auntie got him this? The force is strong with this little one, which is very true. Just looking for some socks for him. I'm naked, so I'm not going to uh, <laughs> go in the mirror. Because <laughs> otherwise you'll see some bits and bobs and we don't want that. Socks. These will do. We got them socky poos. Yes, we have. Keep those tootsies nice and warm. Yes. Do you like your room? He's having a good little look around. Look at all the teddies. We've got so many teddies, haven't we? That's the collection of teddies. <laughs> We've got a lot. There's SpongeBob there. Tigers, elephants, bunnies. Do you like it? <laughs> On the rocking chair. Ooh. We've, um, we've still got him in the lay by me cot, obviously, because he's only six weeks now, um, nearly seven. Um, so we've not obviously not used this yet, the big cot. But we'll get there. We'll get there one day. Um, anyway, hi. <laughs> I'm literally just in a bra and knickers, so <laughs> I need to go and get changed. This is the mum life. You just always seem to, well, when you're breastfeeding, you seem to always just have your nips out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's go and find a nice little dress. So, we've got the shower going. Baby's here. <laughs> Look at the shower. Look at the shower. This is the mum life. <laughs> He's everywhere I go. Aren't you, chicken? you everywhere I go. Yeah. Hopefully he'll stay chilled there for a bit while I get a nice shower and wash my hair. You gonna be good? Yeah, thought so. <laughs> okay, so I'm out the shower. This is the outfit of the day. I got this from a charity shop. Thought it was quite cute. This is also my postpartum figure. <laughs> I've got like a little tiny bit of the stomach left where it kind of comes out a little bit where the baby was. But for six and a half weeks, I'm doing quite well, I think. I just need to get my exercises in. So plan for today is I want to bake some kind of cakes. I don't know what yet. I'm going to have a little look in my recipe books and see what there is to have a go at, basically. Um, I need to do a little clean of the living room because it's a mess. I'll show you a little bit. That's a bit of the couch. <laughs> so I need to do a bit of a cleaning spree in the living room while the baby's sleeping. Yeah, he's well away. My little Yoda. Let's get some cleaning done, eh? banana cake recipe because I just realised we've got some brown looking bananas which means it's time for a banana bread. When our bananas go brown that's the best time to do it. Make a banana bread or banana cake whatever you want to call it but I want to do little ones so my idea once I find a recipe I'll put them in little cupcake holders and they'll be like little banana cupcakes that's what i'm thinking that's what i want to go for let's have a little look at my books and see what we can find okay what have we got then have a look at that one family comforts maybe see if she's got anything on banana bread slash banana cake let's have a little look Okay, found a recipe. Um, it is banana and cranberry, 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 
cranberry loaf <laughs> um, in this one. Uh, that's it if you want to take a little screenshot, but I'm just not going to put cranberries in it. Looks like an interesting recipe, so I'm going to give it a go. I'll see what we've already got and then see what we need and write a list of what we need. And then I'm going to pop to the shop and go and get the ingredients. But the main thing is we've got the bananas <laughs> and I've got flour as well. So I know that's all right. But yeah, let's get chicken. It's not like I said chicken then. It's the Scouse accent in it. Chicken. Chicken and a can of coke. <laughs> oh God, that was bad. So bananas. We've obviously got them. Uh, cake grease proof thingy majiggies, whatever they're called. Cake, cupcake, cu uh, cupcake holders. Then we've got 215 grams of self raisinal flour, half a tablespoon of baking powder, 125 grams of brown sugar. Gosh, that's hard, that. It's like a brick. 85 grams of chopped mixed nuts. So mixed nuts, we've not got any of that. So I'm gonna write that on my list. Five to six tablespoons of orange juice. Two eggs, lightly beaten. We have got eggs, but I always use eggs. So I'm gonna write down another batch of eggs to get from Tesco. 150 grams of oil. All right, for oil, we've got that. That's all the ingredients. If you want to start baking with me, start baking with me. Maybe watch it whilst you're baking. I don't know, whatever you want. Um, but yeah, exciting. So let's get going, let's get going, let's get going, let's get going. The, uh, the baby's literally in his little chair, fast asleep. This chair has a little like vibration thing on. So it's like just chilling him out. He seems good. I'll leave him to it. Oh, I've left the uh, baking drawer open. Does anyone's partner do that, by the way? Like James, whenever he comes in and he's uh, looking for something, he'll open all the drawers like that. And then I'll come in after him and have to close them all. <laughs> Does anyone else's partner do that just to annoy them? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. So just a couple of bits and bobs uh, before I go shopping of what you need. Obviously, I'm going to be using the cupcake tins, um, but you can do, use just like a normal loaf tin if you want to, depending on what you feel like. Um, also, another thing is the KitchenAid mixer. I'm going to be using that with the kneading connection handle, whatever it's called, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to be using that and obviously you'll need a mixing bowl. It does say you can use a wooden spoon, so don't worry if you haven't got a quick kitchen aid. Just use a wooden spoon like it says or even like a normal hand whisk maybe that might work. And then obviously you're going to need some weighing scales. I've got the kitchen aid ones um, which are awesome by the way. You can get them on Amazon and it's got like a little one for the smaller bits and bobs that you use. And obviously a little spoon to scoop your mixture into the trays. So yeah, let's get going to Tesco. So before I go shopping for the bits and bobs, I'm just making me and James, he's just come home now, just making us some sausage and bacon sandwich, which will be nice. Date on baby, still sleeping. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I've actually showed this, um, but we've got like a little heater now, just for the front room. Do you know, rather than spending loads of money on the radiators and stuff to heat the whole house, we mostly use this this room. So um, James brought this in for us and he can see us in the mirror. Hi. But yeah, so it just gives off heat from the bottom and it heats the whole room, which is fab. But yeah, definitely recommend. That's for the baby's room when he's a bit older. We were just trying it out. It's really good. You can hear the voice, like if you speak to it, you can hear it. And also it like records the video as well. Um, but yeah, I'll turn that off because it's nice and warm today. It is a bit cloudy like, but it's not too bad.
as rate the sausage. Six out of ten. What are you saying? Mm. Out of ten. With the bacon included, because he had bacon on his, I, I just had sausage. I'd give it a good eight. Eight? Mm. With the bacon and the sausage? What would you rate the sausage on its own? Eight. <laughs> All right. I'll see which one it is. I've seen these in Tesco. I've, I've had better sausage though, babe. <laughs> Wait, where is it? Where did I put the sausages? Oh, there they are. Um, they're the ones that we're eating. The Black Farmer. The Black Farmer? Yeah. Premium pork sausages with a blend of herbs and spices. Oh, they're gluten-free. Oh. I've got bread all over me. But yeah, they're the ones if you want to try them. They're in Tesco. So, just giving Baba a little feed now. He's having his milkies. And I noticed he's only got one sock on. So I'm going to have to go around the house and try and find this other sock. Because I've not a clue where it's gone. <laughs> but yeah so after his feed um hopefully karen will be here soon karen is james's mum so baby james's nan or nanny or nana um but yeah so we're gonna go to tesco get a few bits and bobs and yeah and then we can start our nice little banana cupcakes so stay tuned Poopy incident, haven't we, Mr. Man? We've had to throw you in the uh, shower. <laughs> because there was a bit of a poop explosion, wasn't he? Yes. Yes, so we're going to have to get you in a whole new outfit. Yes. <laughs> He's just chilling, having a little dry. Aren't you? Right, new outfit. And then we can go. Right, new outfit. Outfit of the day, hopefully. <laughs> if we don't have to do another change. <laughs> Should be okay though. Oh, you're so good looking. Yes, you are. He's just, he's, he's in a bit of a milk coma right now. And he kind of blends in with the couch. <laughs> you like a cushion, aren't you? Yeah, you like a cushion. Right, let's go. <laughs> So I've got my uh, little disguise on and then underneath is my cute frilly dress but you know it's cold out there got to be prepared these are literally all James's clothes apart from the trainers they're mine he doesn't mind let's go let's go let's go let's go getting James your boy in the sling Karen's got the bags yeah Oh. We're here. He's in. You can fold that down as well, do you know, so we can see. Oh, yeah. It's cute, isn't it? It's quite nice. Um, Tesco's. We're always here, aren't we? We're filling up some yogi. What are you getting, Karen? Sour cream. <laughs> Got you on the vlog. No Caught you red handed. Finished our shopping. Got a trolley full. <laughs> Time to go to the car and have a little brewski before I start cooking. Well, baking. Exciting. We're ready, we're ready, we're ready to bake a cake. We're ready to bake a cake. We're ready to bake, ready to bake, ready to bake a cake. <laughs> well, you having fun there? 
Ready to bake a cake. Ready to bake that cake. Yeah. Ready to bake that banana cake. Ready to make that banana cake. So let's get our flour and our bacon powder. I'm going to use a sieve so then it's nice and sieved. 215 grams of flour. Let's all bake a cake. Yes. 215. 215. Keep saying it so you don't forget. Ooh. We've got our spoons here. We've got our baking powder here. We're ready. We're ready. Half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. Half a tablespoon. Yeah, half a tablespoon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Half a tablespoon. Do you want feeding again? Right, I've popped him in a, in a different sling. This is the one that I feed him from. <laughs> so we can just chill there and feed. <laughs> right, so flour, baking powder done. What's after that? Stir in the sugar, bananas, nuts and cranberries. Obviously, we're not adding cranberries. So all we need to add is the sugar, the bananas and the nuts. 125 grams of sugar. Now we just need the bananas. We'll do two and a half mashed bananas. Oh, I'll have to squat. Oh, I can't get my all yet. <laughs> oh, I need to start squatting more. There's one, two, and then we'll do a little half because these are quite small bananas. So we'll do a little half one. Let's mash them up first, I reckon. This will be you soon. Have a mashed banana. Yeah. Whack them in there. Lovely jubbly. So we've got all that mixtures in there. So now 85 grams of chopped mixed nuts. I could blend them. I've just blended the uh, nuts. So we've got some nice chopped nuts there. <laughs> there might be a bit too much blended, but that's how I like it. So we'll pop that in the mixture now. There we go. This blender's fab. If you're watching, Karen, thanks for the uh, blender. <laughs> it's amazing. I used it to make a milkshake the other day and it was lovely. Now I'm using it to crush nuts. Okay, so now it's time to mix. Let's get this bad boy out. I'm going to use the kneading attachment. Are you enjoying that? Are you enjoying that chicken? Gosh, he's knackered. He needs to go to sleep. It does say use a wooden spoon, um, so you probably don't need to like whisk, like whisk it too fast. If you get me. So after that, we then mix the orange juice, eggs, and oil together in another bowl. I'm going to use my other KitchenAid bowl. So we need five or six. Five to six orange juice spoonfuls. That'll do us. Pinky went up. Nice and doughy. Orange juice is in there. So I'm putting the two eggs in the orange juice mixture and oil. So pause that for a minute. We are now going to be putting 150 millilitres of extra virgin olive oil. Pop that in. We're now gonna put this bowl on and mix all that stuff. So that's nice and mixed in the other bowl. It now says to mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. So we're gonna take that off, whack it in the other bowl with the other stuff. We're gonna whack that back in we're going to mix that together. I am going to use my wooden spoon just to make sure it's really getting in there. Can't go wrong with a wooden spoon. Oh, I forgot to preheat the oven. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees. Forgot to say that at the beginning. Oh, he's, he's half asleep. He's not even listening to his mum. He's like, yeah, whatever. You bake your cake, wolf. I'm actually going to put in fudge chunks, I think that'll be nice. I'm 
Right, now it's time to put the mixture into the cupcake holders. It's quite a gooey texture actually. It's not, it's nothing like a bread. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it turns out okay. Oh. It's trial and error guys, it's trial and error. And then I'll put the fudge chunks on the top of them so then they kind of melt in. Oh, sugar. I need to focus, otherwise I'm gonna get it everywhere. Okay, so they're all in. Ready to go in the oven. Now it says on the recipe, leave in for an hour, but I'm only gonna do half an hour just because they are cupcakes. So I think they'll take a little bit less time. So what I'll do is I'll put them in for half an hour, check them with a little stick, see if the, uh, see if the cupcakes are wet inside. If not, I'll take them out. And if they are, I'll keep them in for another half an hour or so or another 10 minutes and just keep on checking on them basically. Cause obviously I'm not doing it in a big loaf tin. So it won't take as long, I don't think. But we'll see. Uh, and yeah, so I'll see you back in an hour or so. Just showing you. I don't know if you can actually see it. The dessert, little babies. Oh, yeah, you can see them, babe. Look. One of the fishes has given birth, and there's like thousands. What type of fish is it again? Um, Jack Dempsey. Jack Dempsey. Yeah, little baby fish, aren't you? <laughs> He's actually probably looking at the camera. <laughs> Maybe. Does anyone know who Jack Dempsey is? If so, put it in the comments and see if you get it right. Don't no googling, no cheating. Okay, so I've checked them with a sharp thing, and it they've came out clean, which means they're ready. Oh, look at them. That's what you want them looking like, I reckon. Just let them cool for a bit now. Oh, babe, these look well nice. Yeah, you gonna come and try one? Before I put din dins on. <laughs> Let's try this one. We'll do a little taste test. Mm. You can see all the fudge in the middle. That's what it looks like inside. Nice and soft and moist. What you want? You want some? It's a bit hot, yeah. What? Make sure you get the bit with the fudge in. It's hot. What do you reckon? Sorry. You don't like it? I think it's fairy cake. This is banana cake though, this is healthier. They are nice up. That's nice for a banana bread though. Mm -hmm. With the fudge in it. I like it. <laughs> I do like it. Mmm. You can taste the banana, can't you? You put flour in there. Yeah. Self raising and flour. It might be nicer when they've cooled down. I give that an 8.5 for, for, for as far as banana bread goes. What do you rate it, babe? Oh, I think great. Right? I thought you were going to say five or something. What do you give it? I can just smell it. You smell it? Oh. What's that smell? I like them. Does your mum like banana bread? No idea. I'll save her one. 